Now let's talk about what we do with the Z-Cat after it's out of the box. So um, obviously the first thing we need to do is put the touch probe on. So again, it's a standard Renishaw TP20 touch probe. There's a few other things that come with it. I'll leave those in there for now. There's not gonna be anything that we need to do. Um, it is magnetic, so it's uh, very easy. You know, it comes installed with two stylus, uh, a horizontal and a vertical stylus. Um, and if you look closely, you may or may not be familiar with these, but uh, there's a triangle, there's a square, and there's a sphere on here. And those will actually coincide exactly with a triangle, a square, and a sphere on the holder and it will magnetically just go on and as soon as it clicks in place you're ready to go. So now we've got the Z-Cat out of the box. We made sure we didn't pick it up by the by the, the cross arm. The handle of the Z-Gauge is this black ring right here so the operator is going to always be using it like that when he's in manual mode. So this is the handle. I always make sure that I have the Z-Cat set up so the screen is facing me um, there is a home position. Uh, I make sure the buttons are on the right side. And home position on your production Z-Cats will have a, a little triangle mar etched marking in the bottom and you'll just line those up. The other key is to make sure that our, our splice is in the center or towards the front of the cabling. I make sure that the, the probe is facing straight out from the Z-Cat. I can turn the unit on on the on button over here on the right, and I'll slide it around a little bit. There's an on-off switch here. This is the Ethernet cable here. There's an AC adapter port, and there's a, um, a fuse port. I'll just turn on the Z-Cat, and you'll see the screen will light up. You'll hear the clutches release. That allows you to move the Z-Cat in position. The screen will say move the Z-Cat to the home position. It'll also have a done check mark and it'll have a help question mark there. So if you need help, but all I do is move the Z-Cat to home position, which is like I said, we line up our triangles at the bottom. I make sure my splice is towards the front of the cable and bring the Z-Cat up to the head up to just at the top of the gauge and I can hit the check mark. Now the Z-Cat will go through a testing mode making sure each of the scales or each of the axes um, are in good condition. A couple of tests. It takes a few seconds. If I get a continue mark, I hit continue. Depending on which version of the software you have, it may ask you if you want to continue or, or stop. In this case, it does ask to continue. I'm getting green check marks on here telling me everything's okay. It's now locating the splice on the cabling. And now the Z-Cat's ready to go.